Hello everybody, today I'm back and today I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS or Open Broadcaster software um, for Windows. I will not be using Mac or Linux, this is just for Windows 10. Now, I'm only going to be using the classic version, I will not be using the Studio because it's a little bit, um, well actually I'm going to say buggy, so there's some problems with it uh, until they can get that fixed. I'm going to be using the classic version, which I actually like. Uh, it's a lot more easy to use and everything. So, uh, yeah. Now, this this, now this video, video uh, is mainly going to be using for uh, YouTube, but um, but you can also use this for Twitch. All the stuff in here, in here can also be used for Twitch. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, as you can see, you can have you can see that limbo going on right now. But, um, yeah, so I have two scenes right here. I have webcam and I have gameplay. Gameplay is the one I'll be using just for um, the scene by screen. I will not be using my webcam, but I will be using my webcam for right here. And, but uh, there's some problems with it. It has a little corner right here, but I can fix that by cropping it. So I'm going to be showing you on how to crop it. So what I'm going to do is that, hold on one second, my camera set. Actually, I'll do it on gameplay. Uh, it's faster. So once this is, once this is downloading, you want to hit Edit Scene, and then once that happens, is it gonna do it or not? Okay, well, never mind. Um, but uh, yeah. So if you do get the chance of doing this, what is that? But uh, if you do get a chance on using your, but if you ever have a chance to use your webcam, or ever uh, decide to use your webcam, uh, use Alt, and then you just go on the line, go on the side of the window of your screen. Well, not this right here, but just um, video screen, and just then you can just shrink it, and just, uh, you can just crop it, and it will be uh, a lot more better to focus more on your face. No one will see the background. No one will see the microphone that you'll be using. Now, um, I'm just using the microphone for that's built into my um, Windows computer. So now I'm going to be showing you what I have set up in my settings. So what I have set in my settings is uh, going to be in encoding. Now. Actually, no. So my broadcast settings is set to live stream, but you can go to file output only, which what it will do is that it will send the videos that you do for recording, and then once I get done with this video, it will go straight to my um, videos file in the in file in the file right here, as you see, my videos are right here. Uh, most of them are just test and uh, see what I can fix and everything. So, um video is right here so the resolution the the base resolution is mainly for doing video games now everything for um i use for my games is 1280 and 720 so that's the best one because you'll get the 16 um 9 and now i'm going to be showing you on uh, how to do that so i lo so i load up gary's mod it's one of my favorite games so I can see my resolution is at 1280 and 720, and um, as you see, the widescreen is at 16.9. And uh, what if I go back over here? It is at 1280, 720, and 16.9, and that is perfect because that is the res because that is a uh, that's how it is in the game, and that's how it is. Then that's what's going to be in here. And um, so that's how I highly request you can do that, but you can do all the other ones in here that will uh, will possibly work. I'm not sure if it will or not. Haven't done it yet, but uh, if it does work, leave a comment below um, if it does. Now your uh, uh, FPS or frames per second is going to be how it is. So you can just change this wherever you want. Um, your audio. So I'm using the speaker. Um, I'm using my speaker for the desktop audio, and I'm using the microphone real talk um, high definition audio. So I'm using. Um, so I'm using this, and this. What this is is the built-in microphone that you have on your computer. Now I do not have an um, actual mic. 
Um, but I think I might be able to use my Xbox 360 um, um, headset. Possibly, I don't know, but uh, we'll see in the future, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Oh, frick, there's more setting. Uh, hotkeys. Hotkeys are your main important thing you need to do. Now, um, you can have audio for ho um, hotkeys for audio. Um, you don't really have to do this because um, mainly I don't think people use push to talk and everything. But uh, if you're more of a push to talk person to do that stuff, you just do that. Um, broadcasting. Now, um, I have control 3 and control 4 to start my um, recording and to stop my recording. And yeah, so but so um, yeah, so hockey's are kind of important in here. You want to do that stuff. So yeah, now we're gonna go back to broadcast settings, and there's a thing I need to show you. The stream key. Stream key is one of the most important things that uh, about uh, OBS. Do not show it to anybody. I mean anybody while you're doing a live stream, because if you're gonna be doing a live stream. It is bad, because um, once that person sees it, they'll be able to live stream um, with your with your stream key. So that's gonna be it. that's um, bad mojo if you show anybody the stream key. So we'll set that back to output. Uh, yes. So. Next, so next thing we're gonna have the scenes. Now, scenes, I'm gonna, uh, there's actually hotkeys that I have. So, what you wanna do is uh, you wanna right click it, go to set hotkey. Uh, I have it set to control two. Webcam, I have it set to control one. So, what I gotta do is right click, go to the bottom, set hotkey, and you can do that. So, uh, that's kinda easy. Now, for order to find your stream key, it is actually easy. So what you want to do is so you want to go to your creator studio. Just click your name. Just click your just click your profile right here, and just go to creator creator studio. And then you can just go right here and do and uh, do the and just go to live um, live streaming. Go to stream now. It's in the I don't know why it's in beta. I thought it won't be, but um, go to uh, encoder setup and you'll see your server your uh, URL and your stream stream name slash key. Your stream key will be right here. As you can see, um, it is in the dot thing. You can reveal it. But don't do it while you're recording or anything. Uh, do it before you start a live stream or recording. And everything. Uh, that is the most important thing you need to do. Do not show anybody your stream key or else you're doomed. If, well, I wouldn't say doomed, but anyways. Now, your webcam, as I could say earlier, you can crop it, and I can actually do it right now, actually, with this. So, you want to hit edit, you want to hit edit scene, then hit alt. Alt again, and look at that, I can just crop, crop this video. I can just crop it, but uh, most people don't really want to crop their, um, their window, so but it, because everybody wants to see their everyone wants to see their video, they want to see all this cool stuff that's about to happen on your videos. So uh, yeah, I just hit click edit scene again if you're done. And uh, webcam is the same thing. So if you um, have that problem, you see when you have black, uh, just big old black boxes on the sides, you just get rid of that as a snap, and it will just uh, go away. And you can uh, make it where it can uh, kind of focus on your face more. So, um, but my webcam's not really in high resolution, it's on HD and everything. Um, till I can give me a better webcam, I'll do, uh, face cans for my gameplay videos and all that stuff. Uh, so, yeah. This is how you can do, um, OBS. And leave a comment down below if this, if you found this video helpful. And, um, also, leave a comment down below on the reaction series I'll be using for OBS. And it's, um, I don't know, uh... I wish they could make it where there's a YouTube slash reaction thing, so you can do a reaction video and you have all, including these settings, to do a reaction. So it'll be kind of cool and neat for to use. Now, uh, one thing I hope they do. Well, actually, I'm not gonna do. What am I doing? I'm not doing a freaking um, review on freaking OBS, but um, but 
Actually, I give OBS a 9/10 a nine because it's really good. It's helpful to making videos, and you do not need a um, capture card or anything to capture your gameplay videos. Well, if you're going to be doing game captures for Xbox, yeah, that's going to be a problem. But uh, anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below for uh, what video I should uh, react to for my reaction series. And uh, leave a comment below on what resolution you guys use for your for your um, gameplay. And leave a comment down on which one kind of works too for uh, gameplay. And until uh, then, stay as a Yoshi.